Traffic together. Pete Mangione is tracking some potential storms that should happen later in the day. Yeah, that's right, Julianne. So the good news with that is that most of today is rain free. In fact, there may be some spots that get zero, nothing today through tonight. These storms will be isolated. They will be scattered and whether they are severe or not, still a question mark on that. Let's actually take you through it and notice as we head towards 2 p.m. A slight chance of a shower or two during the early afternoon. The much better chance would be this evening. This is around 6 p.m. with the chance of some showers and strong thunderstorms. What is likely to happen is that we get some of these strong thunderstorms at this time just to our west and then whether they hold up together or not will determine whether we get that risk of hail, damaging winds and lots of lightning and things like that. There is also a scenario in which these showers and storms kind of collapse into plain old regular rain showers regular thunderstorms. Keep in mind, regular thunderstorms still have lightning, but this would be a much better scenario because we could actually use some of those gentle raindrops to help break up the drought situation, which we do have right now for most of our area. In the meantime, we're looking at some high thin cloud cover over the hurricane barrier. Same thing here in Narragansett with those breezes getting going. You can see the flags kind of flapping down towards the bottom of the camera there. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 showing some showers sort of dying away here in northern New England. This is not the primary area of disturbed weather today. I'll show you that in just a second. Already three degrees shy of the 80 degree mark in Taunton, 76 Providence, 76 Westerly, 72 on Block Island. It already feels muggy out there today. Will definitely be a muggy day. Here's what's going to help out a little bit. It's the wind. Right now we're at around 10 miles an hour, which is fairly busy for this time of the morning. This will actually increase to about 10 to 20 miles an hour by this afternoon with a few gusts of around 25 at the coast. So kind of a breezy beach day if you're planning out a uh, beach day for this afternoon. So I mentioned the multiple areas of disturbed weather. Here's one coming through Pennsylvania and we have sort of this whole area here where it's sort of uh, unstable. So any little lobe of energy could give us a chance of a shower or thunderstorm this afternoon. Tonight we're actually on the lookout for this front, which is still across the Great Lakes. That's why we hold on to the threat of showers or storms all the way through about midnight. So even though we're not seeing a whole lot of rain in terms of how long it actually comes down today, the threat window is pretty large. It'll start around 5 or 6 p.m. But before that happens, we'll get to around 90 for inland spots and in Narragansett. Look for low 80s, those breezes coming in from the southwest with a chance of a shower or thunderstorm late. And our best chance to see some of these showers and thunderstorms would be from about uh, 7 or 8 all the way through midnight. Again, it's not raining the whole time. In fact, most of the time it's not raining. It's just that the severe threat will be here. And as we uh, head towards the beach future cast for today, a moderate risk of rip current. So no need to cancel beach plans, but definitely keep an eye to the sky, especially late afternoon through the evening. Today is a great day to have the app with you at the beach. Just don't take it in the water with you. But if you have your iPhone, you can track radar and see any showers or storms which are moving through. Tomorrow is a very hot beach day. Highs close to 90. Sunday not quite as warm. Mid 80s with mostly sunny skies. Seven day future cast shows 92 tomorrow, 88 on Sunday. Not quite as humid on Sunday afternoon. You can always get an updated future cast over on the website at WPRI.com. Now it's time for Melissa Sardin.